Balanced torques. If you've ever been on a seesaw, you've experienced balanced torques, right? If you're on one side of the seesaw and another person's on the other side, if you're the same mass, you're applying the same force and you stay balanced. Well, if I go to the park with my daughter, she's four, she weighs 40 pounds, I weigh almost 200 pounds, I'm applying a lot more force on my side than she is, so we're not gonna be balanced. How can I ride on the seesaw with my daughter if I have such a different mass than she does? Well. If we remember what a torque is, a torque is not just the force that's applied, but it's the force that's applied at a relative distance from a center, okay? And in this case, with balanced, balanced torques, we're gonna to talk about that center as being a fulcrum. Again, like the middle of the seesaw, okay? So once I do that, now I can figure out how far I need to be from the center to balance with my daughter so that we're about even and we can go up and down easily, okay? So you'll see a lot of questions where you're asked given uh, two points and two forces, uh, and sometimes, for example, they'll ask, you know, they'll give you one distance and two forces, or uh, you know, two forces and a distance. Let's look at an example of that and how you might solve an equation like that, okay? So, again, our seesaw example. Let's say I've got a force over here of 35 newtons, and it's 35 centimeters from the fulcrum. I've got another force over here, and it's 30 newtons, but I don't know the distance it is. But notice this is a balanced uh, torque, so I, my seesaw is even, okay? So this times this must equal this times this, all right? So to write that equation, we could say the force A times the distance A equals the force B times the distance B. Okay? Then all we have to do is plug in the numbers. So my force A is 35 newtons, my distance A is 35 centimeters, my force B is 30 newtons, and my distance B I don't know, that's what I need to solve for. So I'm just gonna leave that distance b. Okay, so now I need to simplify this equation, right? So I wanna get rid of this, so I divide this by 30 newtons, and I divide, I'm sorry, I'm gonna multiply these two and get 1225 newton centimeters equals 30 newtons times the distance, okay? Now I need to simplify, so I wanna get rid of my 30 newtons, dividing this by 30 newtons, and this by 30 newtons, Okay, and when I do that, I get, again, this cancels with this, and this I can simplify into 40.83, my newtons cancel, and I'm just left with centimeters, and that's my distance B. So, the distance from the center here is 40.83 centimeters, okay? Which kind of makes sense, because it's a greater force over here, so this side's gonna have to be a little farther from the fulcrum, to balance that force, right? That the, the torque needs to be the same by going out a little farther, okay? Let's look at another one, a little bit more complicated. Now let's say we're getting two kids on one side of the seesaw and one bigger kid maybe on the other side or one kid farther out. How can we create a balanced torque with two forces on one side and one torque on another, okay? And you see this all the time on the playground. You have two kids on one side and one on the other. How do we figure that out, okay? Again, we can just add these torques together, okay? And they're gonna equal this torque, okay? So let's put these two on one side and it's gonna equal that one, okay? So my distance for my first force is 50 centimeters from the center, okay? Applying a force of 25 newtons, so 50 times 25 newtons, plus this one's 10, meter, 10 centimeters from the uh, fulcrum and the force, I don't know, okay? I need to figure out what the force is of that object, okay? This one I do know. I've got a 50 centimeter distance and that's applying a force of 30 newtons, okay? So if I multiply 50 centimeters times 30 newtons, I see that this is 1500 centimeters per newton, centimeter newtons, I'm sorry, not centimeters per, this is centimeter newtons, the unit for torque, okay? And on this side, I've got, uh, Again, 50 times 25 is 1250 centimeter newtons. And then this one is the distance 10 centimeters times x, the distance that I'm trying to solve for. I'm sorry, the, not distance, the force I'm trying to solve for, okay? So again, if we reduce that, um, I've got this over here, I need to get rid of that so I can make it negative and move it over here and subtract 1250 from 1500, I get 250. So I've got 10 centimeters times a force equals 250 centimeter newtons, 
and that can be simplified into 25 newtons. So this person can be applying 25 newtons, 10 centimeters, along with this person, and that will equal a 30 newton force that's 50 centimeters away. Okay? So this is an example of solving a more complicated balanced torque equation. Okay? But it's simply just adding the different torques together and knowing that they're balanced, I can solve it very easily.